so I'm going to try to do this quickly. Um, you're working on a power supply and you don't want to work on it because of the big capacitor. It gets charged up. In a capacitor, what they do is they charge up and then release that energy. And they do that over and over again. When you turn off the power to the power supply, that energy is going to remain in the capacitor for a while until it's drained off through the circuit or it will remain there. Um, so basically, um, one way to discharge it, if you have to, you can short out the capacitor, but it's not completely safe because it, sometimes the you know it's such a high voltage that that's bad. Um, one thing to do is putting like two 10k resistors across it will basically drain it and because it's such a high resistance the power doesn't get shorted like a normal short because you have all that energy basically so what we're going to do is we're going to take two resistors and we're actually going to put a led between it just because i have extras so whatever um, I don't remember if I spent money on this this app. Um, it's called Electrojoid, I think is what it is. This is if you don't have a multimeter. Um, so in Electrojoid, you can uh, you, you can find pretty much all the basic stuff. Uh, resistor color code. I never liked, and I, I never cared to memorize it at all. Um, okay, so we're gonna put that there, and. We want around 10k, which I know these two are pretty close to what we want. Um, okay. okay, so we'll look at them. So the first one is brown, red, orange, gold. Uh, brown, red, orange, gold. And that's about 12K. Okay, so brown, red, orange, gold. If you have a multimeter, you're going to switch it to ohms. And you can just basically do this. This is a fast way to do to see what the actual resistance is. And it's about, it's, it's 11.5, so I mean that's pretty close to 12k, good enough for what we're doing. The other one, if you don't have a multimeter, you can check it, uh, brown, green, orange, Let's see, brown, brown, green, orange, and gold, and that's 15k. So let's see how close that is. 14.3-ish. So so that's you know that's around 15k. That's that's good. Um, and another thing. Let's see. Uh, one thing with the fluke, um, it'll actually. If you don't have this feature in yours, I don't know, it, it'll actually light it up through the probes. But another way to test it is just the uh, continuity. And it'll basically, how, how the LED works is, it, it's basically a wire going through it. And if it's burnt out, then you're not going to be able to get a continuity. You know, you're not, it's basically a wire. If you don't get a signal going from here to here, then the few the, the, the LEDs burn out because it, the signal isn't complete. So let's make sure. the longer one is the anode, which is the positive side. So anode, easy way to remember it is, and the anode is addition, A and D addition anode. So that's the positive. The cathode is the negative. Just remember that.
and you probably cannot see it. Well, I mean, it might show up, but it's lighting up the LED. You could also probably do the same thing with the uh, diode. Yeah, yeah, diode will do it too. Okay, so well, both that basically works more or less. So we're gonna take some wire. No, no, Just a little bit. Mm, okay. Wish they might just have one of Oh, that's strong. Alright, I'm gonna quickly add this in as well. Um, in case it's unclear how the circuit is for draining the capacitor, um, here's another uh, phone app that's pretty pretty alright as well. Um, it's called Every Circuit. You can look up a lot of circuits on it. And actually, it also saves it so. Saves the circuit. This is basically the schematic for what I built to drain the capacitor. That's the LED resistor on one side, resistor on the other side. That's the capacitor to drain. Pretty self explanatory, uh, you know. That's pretty much it. <laughs> you don't have heat shrink, electrical tape will work just fine. But, I mean, hey, if you got heat shrink, you might really use it. Good, this thing works. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do one more over both of them. I can actually use the red one as well as the rest. Good. I know for sure that this this capacitor charges. Uh, I just plugged it in, and just to show you, turn it on. And this is a power supply that's having issues. I'm trying to find out what's wrong with it, but the problem is there's no visual issues, and I get you know PG warning. But it still charges the capacitor, and we made our 
discharge her, so I'm gonna show you. So, with doing this, you don't want to touch the contacts in the back. So, I've already removed this before. And I know exactly which one it is. Because I actually basically shocked some. I, I used these and I, I shorted it. This one right here and this one right there, those are the two that I shorted and gave it a pretty good spark, which I'm gonna use this now. And see how it's turning on the light? After a while that's gonna go dim because it's gonna run out of juice. like it's out. So going across this there should be no spark or anything. Yeah, see? It's completely drained. It might have been completely drained before, I just didn't see the because it it looks like it's lit when it's right next to the light. But uh I mean yeah that works. So one resistor in series with an LED and another resistor in series after that. So really you could turn it around either way and you're not gonna issue um, but you know there are more capacitors on here so you still want to be careful um, so that capacitor is 470 microfarad and it's 400 volts so 400 volts you know that's that's pretty that's pretty hefty you know <laughs> but uh, you still want to be careful always um, uh, but there you go, that's, um, that is a capacitor discharger, ready to go. I'm Charles Ryan, hope you like this video.